Good day grade 11s, welcome to your next lesson in probability. In this lesson we're going to be looking at Venn diagrams for three events. We've done for two events already, now we're going to do Venn diagrams for three events. So it's going to look something like, like this, where we've got a sample space, we've got this big sample space over here, and then we've got our three different subsets. Okay, so let's go and look at an example. So they tell us there are 200 learners in grade 11, 107 learners take art, 23 take art and graphic design, 190 take art, dance or graphic design, 63 take just graphic design, 90 take dance, 35 take dance and art, 15 take art, dance and design. And they ask you how many learners take graphic design and dance but not art graphic design and dance but not art so the first thing that you can do is not freak okay that's a lot of information over there but what we're going to do is we're going to draw our venn diagram and then we're going to label our different circles so we're going to call the top one d for dance the left is going to be a for art and g for graphic design and then we're going to look through our information and see if they tell us anything about where there is an intersection for all three. What we're looking for is this intersection here. And you can see that they give us that 15 learners, 15 learners take art, dance and design. 15 learners take art, dance and design. So therefore we can pop in a 15 there. Now let's see if there's anything else they've given us that helps us work things out. We can see over here, if we read through it nice and slowly, that 35 learners take dance and art. 35. So in other words, the whole of this, the whole of this should be what? It should be 35, but this is 15. Therefore, how much is this little bit going to be? The which just dance and art is going to be 20. All right. Now let's see what other information we got. We also have the 23 learners take art and graphic design. Therefore, we know art and graphic design. Therefore, we know that this bit here should be what? Should all add up to 23. But if this is 15, then 23 minus 15 is equal to 8. Right, let's see what other information they, information they give us. They also tell us that 30, where am I? 107 learners take art. 107. So if we look at this big circle here, the art circle, do you see we've got 20 and 15 and 8 of these bits here? But 107 for the whole circle. So if we take 107 and we subtract the 20 and the 15 and the 8, we have what's left over of the kids that just do art. And that would be 64. So 64 kids just do art. Okay. Now let's go and look at some other information. It says 190 take a art or design or graphic design. Okay, we'll worry about that later. 63 learners take graphic design, but we've still got this little gap here, so we can't work that out. 90 learners take dance. So again, we've still got that gap there, so we can't work that out. And we've used the other information, the highlighted, the different colored information. So what about if we let something be X? So we're going to let this dude here be X. We're going to let the dance intersected with the graphic design be X because this is our problem. We don't know what that is. So that there is X. So that means now we can go back and see what information we have. And we are told that 90 learners take dance. So this whole circle here, this top circle, has to equal to 90. So therefore we can say 90 minus 20, minus 15, minus x, and we end up with 55 minus x. So 55 minus x are the kids that just do dance. And now we can use information about the graphic design, and we can say, oh look, 63 kids take graphic design. That means this whole right circle should add up to 63. So therefore, this little bit here, is going to be 63 minus 15 minus 8 minus x. So that works out to be 40 minus x. 
Now, let's go check if we've used up all our information. Do you see we've still got two more bits of information? So the next bit of information we've got is that 190 learners take art or dance or graphic design. Therefore, all these circles have to add up to what? 190. But there are 200 learners in grade 11. So therefore, we know that there are 10 kids that are outside these sets but they are in the sample space. They don't take design or art or graphic design. Now let's just see before we need to find, see if we can have to solve for x. It says how many learners take graphic design and dance but not art. So we do need to find out what is x. So how are we going to do this? We know that all of these numbers have to add up to what? They have to add up to 190. So that's all that we're going to do. We're going to go right. We're going to go 64 plus 8 plus 15 plus 20 plus 55 minus x plus x plus 40 minus x and all of that has to add up to 190. Let's just check I've got all the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, I do. So now we've got 64 plus 80. Well, let me just do this on the calculator quickly. So, but do you see that one of these x's cancel? This minus x cancels that x, and you're just left with an x over here. And then we've got 64 plus 8 plus 15 plus 20 plus 55 plus 40, and that comes to 212. 212 is equal to 190. Therefore, 212 minus 190 is equal to x and therefore we've got that it equals what is that that's going to be 22 so x equals 22 so how many learners take graphic design and dance but not art that would be this bit here the ones just take graphic design and dance and that is x which is 22. There you go. So this is how you use Venn diagrams. Grade 11s go practice. The best way to get really good at this is to practice and then once you've done that you can actually go and do the examples at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.